In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how I gave each one of these bars a unique color. This is a project, a DC.js project. As I was doing this project, I wanted to give these bars different colors. And so I went onto YouTube to try to figure out how to do it. And I couldn't find the answer, so I started experimenting. And so I wanted to make this video because now there would be something on YouTube. So this is where I begin. So what I'm going to do is go to the code. And I have this I have already commented out. But if you look up in chart one, you see I have all this right here from this line which is 215 from line 215 all the way to 224. I'm going to uncomment that out. So, so now you see on line 215, there's this dot on render let function. Okay. But this is not going to work because I want to chain this to the whole other function that draws the chart. So I need to get rid of that up in line 210. It ends the line. I need to get that semicolon out of there. So now after bar padding line 210, the next line would be dot on render let. Okay, so you see how on this on render let on line 215 is going to call a function that you can see down now, you can declare these colors as a variable or you can just put them in to the other functions. So you look and see, I have chart one dot select all, that's D3. Then I get the class of bars, nth child first one, and I set its fill color to our variable color. So where did I get the dot bar, the class of bar? Okay, let's save this and look at it in the browser, and then we see where you got our colors. Now let's inspect element. Now right here in the body tag. Okay, so we're looking for in the SVG and in the groups, and look, we're looking for the rectangles. You see the recs all have a class of bar, and that's why, let's go back to the code. So for each of my charts, and in this one I'm going to do chart one, after I set the bar padding at line 210, down on line 215 it changes this function, render let, which calls another function that has a parameter of chart one. Now I'm going to take this chart one and declare a variable, which I did at line 218, or you could just put the color right in where I, you see I, where I got chart one dot select all. Now I'm getting the class a bar, but it's nth child the first one, and I'm setting the style fill to the variable color. So then on the next line, 221, I get the rectangle with the class of bar, but it's second, the second child. And now I'm not, I'm not even going to use a variable. I'm just going to put the color right inside there, which this is, this is red. So I do that for each bar within chart one. And this is only going to draw it on chart one because I'm calling the dot on function as I draw chart one. So Okay, I'm going to scroll up a little bit. I'm going to change this variable color one. I'm going to change it to F0F for purple. And let's save it and refresh. Look at it in the browser. And now you see the, the purple and it all gets rendered. So let's do the second chart now. Okay, so let me scroll down and find the second chart. Now again, what I'm going to do is uncomment all this out. But I need to take that semicolon out of there on line 242, otherwise it would break. So everything's been chained down to this bar padding. So let's save it and check it out. Refresh. Now this should be bar two. Now bar two has its own colors. So let's scroll down and on line 263, I'm gonna uncomment all this stuff out. And that's going to chain the on render let function to our third chart, chart ID number three. But I need to take the semicolon out, so get rid of that. Now, refresh. 
Okay, so you notice that the, the chart in line for the colors for lot chart one reappeared. That's because I uncommented all that code out, but I video edited that out. Let me show you. See, here's chart one, and it's no longer comments. But I want to go down. This is pretty much tighter code. This is chart two from line 217 to 251. Now, you see we have a color in defined in line 246 is color one but let me I can go ahead and change that let me show you if I change that to 00f which is blue now I want to copy this because I want to I want to do all in variables two times now I changed color one to color two and again I'm going to do color three now I'm going to go down to line 251. I'm going to copy that color, which was red. I'm going to paste it up here for color 2 in line 247. Again, I'm going to go to 252, copy that color, going up to 248. That's going to be for our color 3, because I want to use all variables for this. Now I'm going to co copy this variable, color 1. I'm going to replace including the tick marks for color one I'm going to say that's color two I'm going to do the same thing for color three call that a color three okay so now let's save it and shouldn't change right and nothing changes we're just using variables instead of the colors in the inside now we can change these colors so that red I'm going to change that to yellow save it and now for our, this is for the chart two, the middle bar is, is yellow. So for the th last bar, I'm going to change that to purple, F0F. Okay, save that. And now we have blue, yellow, and purple. So that's how to make your bars have different colors. All you have to do is get the bar as I do in 237 DC dump bar chart you get the ID of the chart that you want to color now you chain on that the on render let function and inside the function you get the chart now I still have chart one for chart two so I'm just going to replace that with just plain chart now down here I'm going to just say chart take the one off now this should still work the same because I'm referencing the chart. Let's refresh. And it still works the same. So what we need to do is just reference the chart. So we add the chart as a parameter in our render let function. And then we set our colors. And we get the all the rectangles with a class of bar and get each one of their childs. Like the first child is going to be one color. The second child is going to be the second color. And we do that for every bar, every rectangle in that chart. And that is how to create custom colors for your bar charts in DC.js. So now there is a YouTube video for that topic. Anyway, hope this helps and thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this project I'm doing or about DC in general, DC.js in general, there's links in the description below. So Make sure you check those out and I hope you like this video and if you do subscribe and I'm going to start making more videos and I'm making all these projects. Check out my website, some of the projects that I've done. I just don't know how to record and maybe I'm going to just do a, a walkthrough or something. But anyway, again, thanks for watching and 